potato of faith. One of the upsides of going through a lot of characters was that if we had an idea for a new character we could usually get them into the game within a few sessions. Sometimes you want to try a new type of build and see if it's functional. Other times you see a nice niche in the plot for a character to fill. And sometimes you just want to fuck with everyone. Our group was currently down two members our thief and blackguard were given some cash and told to buy something or other from the local wizards college. They tried to steal it instead so we put out some feelers looking for someone sneaky and someone meaty. As luck would have it a pair of rather disreputable gentlemen who fit the bill were looking to make a name for themselves and signed on. A Mr. Nail and Mr. Lily. 10 points for whoever recognizes these two by the way. Mr. Nail was a standard rogue with above average intelligence who was quite good with a knife or a hand crossbow. He was the small clever one in the typical small thug big thug pair. He made it one session before he got wasted, however his associate Mr. Lily continued to travel with us for quite some time. Mr. Lily was not a standard anything. He was a thug cleric art appraiser hybrid with very low intelligence, wisdom, and charisma as well as a drug problem. The thug part fit the mold fine he was large, scarred, loud, swore in every sentence, and he smashed faces and knees with the best of them. In a fight we would just point him at anyone we didn't like and leave him to his own devices. The fuckery came from his other specialties. Mr. Lily loved classical art in all forms. No one really knew how since Mr. Nail didn't live long enough to ask. And was amazingly good at both spotting items of artistic value and convincing others that he was correct in his assessment. Whenever we traveled anywhere he stood a chance of finding a fucking third era elvish harp with sartorial inlays or a genuine fucking Mikovsky candelabra. As well as loudly denouncing prominently featured paintings as fucking cheap forgeries. This ability made us a lot less money than you'd think since he was very picky about selling it to anyone. And caused problems with stealth and escapes when he would loudly examine something or go back to grab something before we left. For every situation where we impressed the nobles artists historians with his knowledge, there was another where he started a brawl over the lackluster maintenance on a valuable piece on display. Then at the end of everything almost every cent we made off any stolen art was dumped into his drug problem. Mr. Lily loved drugs, but he was lousy at getting them. He would eat, snort, or smoke anything that was presented to him in a small nondescript bag regardless of what the substance actually was or what anyone else told him. If he was left in a market with a full purse he'd come back with 5 baggies of powder and an entire dried bush. Inevitably 3 of the baggies would contain powerful spices, one would be full of rat poison, the last would be a soil sample from a local mine, and the bush would cocaine be rhododendron. He'd cram it all into himself anyhow and aside from a few odd side effects never really seemed to suffer for it. We never established how Mr. Lily got a taste for drugs. Because in the rare cases he did get his hands on actual drugs they had a negligible effect on him compared to the powdered lightning crystals he had just snorted. He always believed that the next bat would do the trick though and nothing would convince him otherwise. The first time our group saw him actually acquire what he was constantly taking we thought we were about to lose our thug, but it never seemed to harm him which was an intriguing little mystery. A new party member with poison immunity is often a sign that something weird is going on, and we devoted a fair bit of effort into figuring out how the hell Mr. Lily survived his habit. In the end we found that despite all appearances Mr. Lily was a cleric, and used his abilities almost exclusively to find drugs using detect poison and keep himself alive using neutralize poison. So our art appreciating, drug taking thug was a cleric of something. He didn't think he was a cleric, everything he used was self targeted and it was all internal and automatic. He wouldn't cast cure poison, he would just feel better. We never made much progress getting him do anything non internalized like buffing his own strength or healing his own wounds but he never really had enough to spare on other characters anyway so we just sort of accepted him as a self sufficient melee fighter. What bothered us more was that Mr. Lily was not affiliated with any identifiable god or alignment, instead he had what we called the potato of faith. Mr. Lily wore this old dried out potato on a string around his neck, and it was his holy symbol. He deeply and fervently believed that as long as you had your potato everything would be okay. He had complete faith in this, the sort of faith that you see in paladins and clerics that actually talk to their deities. He had no idea why the potato was important or what it did for you when you died. But nothing would shake his belief that no matter what you did in your life as long as you had your potato everything would be okay. He didn't try to convert people, but if asked he'd explain that all anyone had to do make sure everything would be okay for them was get their own potato. He wound up converting quite a few people. Mr. Lily survived an entire arc and wound up retiring at the end of major arcs we usually reformed the group with lower level characters. 
He took his looted art collection and set himself up as just about the most unpleasant and brutal art appraiser and dealer in all the lands. He didn't have any descendants thank god that wound up in our party, but his legacy lived on over the years in that any new character could choose to specify their religion as potato. It was a fairly popular choice for the morally ambiguous members of our group after that. After all, Mr. Lily's potato kept him safe and everything was okay for him in the end. No reason for it not to work for them too. Fucking potato of faith, like seriously. Like, is there any chance? Like, you know, like, come on. Ah, uh, well, I suppose, like, you know, like, this here potato of faith system seems to work. Like, you know, there is definitely, like, you know, results. So, like, you know, it does seem to work. Like, you know, well, given that, at least something, like, you know, it's better than most belief systems. <laughs> you know, so, ah, uh, fuck it. You know what I mean? But, uh, no, I definitely agree. That would be a perfect um, system for, like, you know, people with a bit more. Um, not the nicest alignment characters, you know what I mean? Like, you know, as long as you got your potato, you'll be fine. Sort of mentality, you know what I mean? Which I suppose is quite nice. Although, I must say, I'm a wee bit disappointed. Like, you know, this story is very short. You know what I mean? There's not really much to it. And, like, you know, it's a bit different. Because normally I like to do big, big, long videos. But, like, you know, a lot of people have been saying, No, no, we really like the short, we really like the short. So, like, you know, what I, what I can say, I'm a people guy. You know what I mean? I like to, I like to help the people. So, uh, let us know what you thought. Like, you know, we shorter story than a normal big big one like you know I, I prefer doing longer videos I think you get more out of it like you know for instance this one I would have loved to get more out of Mr. Neil although I know Mr. Lily is like you know the interesting character out of them you know what I mean he's a drug addict fucking art dealer that has a magic potato around his neck you know what I mean like what the fuck's not to love about that <laughs> but uh no as always like you know let, let us know what you think down below you know like and subscribe click that wee notification bell to step to speed with any and all new videos and like you know look, i just hope you guys have enjoyed i'll see you soon if you haven't already check out my red bubble portfolio you might just find something you like this this is, is not okay this needs to stop now this is cancer this this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?